hello. We're having lessons in housework today. Now, when you're when you have a huge mess to tackle, like my mess here, you've seen this mess. I don't need to show it to you again. First, you wipe off the surfaces, and everything can go on the floor. So, okay, you're going to sweep the floor. So let's just clean off this table. Okay? Did you see that? You weren't even looking. Okay, and then we'll just clean off this here. And clean off this one here. Now, if it's big enough stuff, of course, you don't want to throw it on the floor. You want to put it in compost. All this stuff is not garbage. It's compost. Okay, now, we're going to work on the floor. So, I've been picking up everything that's on the floor. When it's cold outside, it might be a lot easier to just shake the rug like this. Have it shake off inside because it's too cold to do it outside. Okay, now then, what kind of a broom do you have? Imagine me teaching how to do housework. Now, oopsie, you don't want to look up there. Good not to lose your broom. This is a, a dustpan that came with the broom. It's really handy. Where's the broom? I said broom. I said broom sweep the broom. I said broom sweep the mop that sweep the mop that sweep the broom. I lost my broom. <gasps> now think, where would it be? I don't know. It should be right there. But it's not. It's not. Maybe it's near the wood stove because that gets pretty messy over there. Let's see. Should be beside there. Should be. Look at that. That needs to be swept up. Abraham, time to get up. No broom. Time to go to school. It is quarter to seven. Where is that broom? Did it make it outside? frozen shut today. Oh, it's right there. No broom. Well, that really bites right into my plans. How do you sweep the broom? Sweep the broom if you don't have a broom. Has anybody seen the broom? Nobody knows. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Now, Nancy, you should know where that broom is. You should have been watching over that broom. Keeping it just where it goes. Let's check it out. I know you... Oh, look at that! The broom! Coast is clear. I found it. Abraham, time to get up. Roll out onto your knees, say your prayers. Okay, so now, we're going to teach you how to sweep the floor. This is for all those children who don't like to sweep the floor and think, I can't do that. Okay, so I'll put you down here so you can see the action. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is start in a corner, okay? Corner is a good place to start. And you bring the stuff towards you. You don't sweep it away, throwing it to the wind. And if you have things on the edge, you pull them out with the broom. See, so you get those bits of stuff out. Okay, and you put your broom right along the edge, and you sweep, pull all that stuff out towards yourself. Okay, so, sorry, 
sorry about that. Swinging in the air. My mother used to tell me, Nancy, you don't sweep it across the room. Which is what I did. Okay, so you're reaching underneath things. Let the edge of the room get under everything. See, aren't you glad that I've got lots of stuff on the floor for you to see? Otherwise, it would be so hard to see the actual cleaning of the floor. Okay, so you've got, if your broom has a long end on it like that, it's very helpful. It gets right in under everything. It pulls all that stuff out. This which goes in the little jar. These which are paper and go in the burnable. Put them where they go. Right now. Okay. And now this stuff, if you notice, is actually all just compost, which can get thrown outside on the compost pile. Okay, now then, we will go this way. And well, let's not go that way. Pull the chair out from the table and then sweep the floor underneath. Now, of course, some things may be stuck to the floor. Bad scene when they're stuck to the floor, but it's up with water. in the plastics, that goes in the drawer, and this goes in the compost. Now, it doesn't matter how often you sweep the floor, because when you sweep it, it's all done. 
whether it was one day or a month. However, the more often you sweep it, the less stuff you have to move around and the less it'll track into the rest of the house. So sweeping the floor is a good idea, especially if you have babies crawling on the floor. Then you need to sweep it a lot. Okay, Nancy today giving you a little hint, helpful hint.